There is an Austin-based company that is known for building 3D printed homes, and now it's teaming up with the military. This is so cool. Their newest project is the largest 3D printed building in North America. Nabil Rahman gives us an inside look at the structure and explains why this innovative way of building could change the future of construction. You have a foundation, the printer shows up, and it begins printing almost like a layer cake. Layer by layer inch by inch. We are here in the largest 3D printed building in North America. That's how Icon co-founder Evan Loomis says the 38,000 square foot barrack was built and it was done by using a 3D printer. So you print uh, up to the very top of the wall and then you put on the, the roof kind of traditionally. Major General Tracy Norris with the Texas National Guard says it's a game changer. It's very hard to keep up the old barracks. You don't get the heat right, you don't get the air conditioning right, you have leaks in your roof, um, very expensive. The old way of doing barracks was temporary buildings that had poor energy efficiency, they were not cost effective. Loomis says this is only the beginning. Icon has already built 3D printed rocket pads and they also built the first permitted 3D printed home in the United States, right here in Austin on Chacon Street. Their work could also help house the homeless and help places like Austin, which need more housing. If we're actually going to put a dent in this huge problem that we call housing affordability, um, we need to move really fast. It's one step at a time, but this one tool has changed the construction industry, says Loomis. There is a huge problem that we have, not, not just in residential housing, which we need millions more per year, but also on military bases. We need more barracks and more housing. And Icon says with 3D printing costs can be cut up by up to a third and it can also cut construction time in half. Mm. I'm thinking back as a kid if I had that 3D printer in the backyard. <sighs> All the things With gardening make. too. Exactly. I mean, with, with the gardening boxes, the the ramps for your BMX bike, all the, the uh, possibilities. I know. It's cool to see it layer by layer by layer Absolutely. like that. You know, there are a lot of possibilities. And on top of those that Nabil mentioned, ICON is building a simulated Mars surface habitat. NASA using this building to test what it would be like for people to live on Mars. It's also looking into how people respond to spending most of their time confined indoors, a lot of time. Simulator is 1,700 square feet. Four people are going to live in it for the testing period. It's in a warehouse at the Johnson Space Center down in Houston, and there are apartment-like rooms as well as a kitchen, bathroom, space to even grow crops. Volunteers will get to pop outside only when they do the simulated spacewalks with virtual reality. So quite the idea here. <laughs> Uh, and remember, some of the qualifications, we talked about this before, you need to be between 30 and 55, and then you also need a master's in STEM. So. <laughs> okay, so next trip. So most of the population <laughs> we'll next do time. not qualify when, for Yeah, this. when they lower their, their bar a little <laughs> yeah, bit, exactly. then, then I'm for it. And they yeah. just want the peasants to go, that's when we'll go. All right.